वेलकम टू आर चैनल माई नेम इज प्रोफेसर सबीना शेख टूडे वी कैन लर्न एक्सपेक्टेंसी थियोरी ऑफ मोटिवेशन दिस थियोरी इज गिवन बाई विक्टर रूम एंड दिस थियोरी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज विक्टर रूम एक्सपेक्टेंसी थियोरी सो एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स स्टूडेंट्स एक्सपेक्टेंसी मीन्स वॉट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर अवार्ड एंड रिवॉर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर हार्ड वर्क इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर रिटर्न वेन वी डू लॉड ऑफ हार्ड वर्क सो बेसिकली expectancy theory assumes that an individual chooses his or her behaviors based on what he or she believes will lead to the most beneficial outcome in short if we are assigned a particular work okay we know what to choose where to choose and how to choose and we choose any specific task in such a manner that we know that what will be the outcome if we perform the particular task efficiently and effectively in short aap jo bhi aapko agar koi task diya jata hai ya aap jo bhi choose karte hain task apne liye studies ho aapke job related ho anything jab aap task choose karte hain to aapko pata hota hai ki aap isme ab itni mehnat karenge to iska outcome iska result kya hoga aur wo aapke liye kitna beneficial hoga okay ye ye basic uh, victor rooms expectancy theory okay this theory also depends on how much value a person places on various motivations the factor which motivates them to pursue the same there are three main elements of expectancy theory of motivation let's study okay you can see in the slide expectancy okay this expectancy is related to efforts okay what is effort it's a perceived likelihood that effort will lead to very good performance okay as i give i have given you an example for example if you if you uh, if your exams are nearby okay and for example if your accounts exam is nearby and you know that if you put a lot of hard work or lot of practice uh, for doing accounts you will get a very very good result okay you know that if you do lot of practice in accounts you will get a very good result so in short when you learn when you plan your things very well okay what you expect you expect yeah i am learning i know each and every terms i know each and every everything in accounts so after giving your exams definitely your exam will go very nice it will go very easy very good why because you have done a lot of hard work towards that exam so you what do you know that you have given you 100% in that uh, for that paper you have appeared the paper and you have uh, you know uh, properly you have written everything you have not left anything okay you have attempted entire paper so you know one thing that once you have put a lot of effort for studying accounts you know that you will get a very very best result so your result will be your very good performance okay so what is expectancy it's related to efforts perceived likelihood that the effort will lead to good performance when you have studied a particular subject very well this goes without saying that once you appear for that paper you are going to pass with flying colors okay same goes in your professional life also second is instrumentality now this is what this is basically related to your performance okay what happens over here is every employee believes that good performance will lead to greater reward okay you have over you have taken an example of accounts paper you studied accounts you have practiced accounts very well you went uh, you appeared for the paper you got very good marks so your marks is nothing but it's a reward for you same goes in your professional life also once you put your hard work into any task any work which is assigned to you definitely once once you do it very well there is obviously you will get a greater reward okay now third is valence now what does this means it is related to your rewards okay levels to which outcomes are desirable okay now if you have appeared nicely if you have attempted the entire paper and out of 100 if you get 98 percentage so what is that that 98 percentage is the outcome of your hard work which is desirable yes it is desirable why because it's a very very good marks it's a very very good number 
okay so what is valence is related to your reward level to which outcomes are desirable okay once you for if you take an example of your performance in your office if you have been assigned a particular task and you do the task very well and you are awarded as a man of the as a performer of the month okay as a best performer so definitely that that is very very desirable and once you get awards for good performance definitely this is this will go very very good with your career ahead in your performance appraisal you will get good rating and on that basis there will be a good salary hike so what it is what the reward is it is a outcome which is very very desirable to you okay so expectancy plus instrumentality plus valence is equal to your motivation now what is motivation motivation is the reason to perform okay students different human being are motivated by different factors some for some motivation is money definitely for some motivation is appreciation for some motivation is promotion etc so all these things are related to your motivation okay whatever you are whatever these things are there this is this this directly motivates you in one way or the other and this motivation students is the reason for you to perform okay once you get very very good percentage what will happen you will get motivated and how you will get motivated you will get good satisfaction level yes i have scored so such a good percentage and once you score a very good percentage you will get the you will get to attend you will get admission to the college which you like okay and once you are in a college which you desire to be then definitely you will be motivated okay so motivation is a, is the key factor over here all these factors are equally important but whatever we are doing is basically for motivation and this is basically our reason to perform so this is your expectancy theory by victor rooms i hope this is clear with you thank you so much